Hello and welcome to the Rusted Brush. Today I'll showcase the start to my new Empire Army for the Old World. I'll explain my theme and the minis I'll be using, so let's get started. Now, the Empire in Warhammer Fantasy is based on the Holy Roman Empire during the Renaissance period. However, there's a realm below the Empire entirely based on the Spanish Empire called Astalia. This is going to be where my army is from. I have a deep interest in the Spanish Empire during the late 1400s up to the early 1600s, which is the main reason I decided on this army. I really enjoy reading about the tactics of the Tercios and the Conquistors' first arrival in the New World. Some more specific inspirations for my force comes from one of my favorite movies, Aguirre, The Wrath of God by Werner Herzog. It's about the journey of a Spanish expedition led by the ruthless and delusional conquistador Aguirre. He's in search of the legendary city of El Dorado. It takes place in the Amazon River. It's a really brutal movie, and the background of filming it makes it even more wild. I highly recommend giving it a watch. The other source of inspiration comes from the Love Death Robots episode, Hibaro. It's about a knight and a siren becoming entwined together, with themes of greed and violence being essential to its story. The visuals are amazing, and I really hope to encapsulate some of the aesthetic from both Hibaro and Aguirre into my army. My idea for my army is that it just finished a successful campaign in Lustria. Lustria is where the Lizardmen were from, and of course the Lizardmen are based on the Aztecs. There's no coincidence there. I want all my characters to look rather ornate and ostentatious with silver and gold plated armor. I want to mix the elements of the Conquistor's greed, faith, and exploration with the stalwart and strategic veteran Tercios. So now that I told you a bit of the theme and lore behind my army, I'm going to show you what I have planned in terms of models. To start with, I have 18 greatswords already painted. Now these models are more of the traditional Empire look, so in my lore, they're a band of mercenaries from the Empire that joined this force. In real life, the Lansnack that the Empire troops are based off of did fight alongside Spanish forces like in the Battle of Pavia is a good example of this. The core of my infantry is going to use the Conquistador kit from War Games Atlantic. This is such a great kit and it's perfect for my army. I'll be reviewing and painting these for my first video on the army. I already have a block of 24 I painted a while ago, but I don't like the paint job so I'm going to be repainting them. Some other infantry I got are these used Ricolos Republican Guard. Unfortunately, they don't have their pikes, so I'll have to figure something out. I may give them different weapons, I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna need more great swords, so I have these amazing models from the Steel Fist Miniatures line. I'll probably use these for characters as well. I definitely have to pick up the Renaissance Knights in the future as well. Moving on to heroes, I have a warrior priest I painted with a head swap from a Max Mini Conquistador head. I'm gonna have to repaint him as well, as I don't like how he looks. I got a mounted warrior priest to lead knights that I don't have yet, so he's going to be on the back burner for some time. I have two used metal engineers I got from my local game store. I'll have to strip and repaint these models for sure, but it'll be worth it. These two models just have so much character to them. Some other characters I have include this Empire Command from Forge World. I don't have any real ideas for them yet, so I'm still thinking of what to do with them. For something a bit more grand and fantastic, I got this Age of Sigmar Manticore kit. I'll be using this as my general on Griffin. This will be a fun project to work on. Speaking of Griffins, I also got some Demogriffs to join the army as well. Now let's move on to some of the cooler stuff. To start with, I got this Dogs of War wizard for a pretty good deal. I'll just need to repaint him and make him a bit more fitting to the rest of the army. I got a metal steam tank, but it's missing a part from its chimney, and missing a wheel as well. I really want to give this model a lot of character and conversion work, so this will be a fun video to show you guys when it's done. I also got this cannon painted up, I just need to paint it screw and base it. Now onto the even cooler stuff, I have this Empire General on horse still in blister. This is one of my favorite Empire models actually. He's got so much character and there's something about him. I always wanted him as a kid but I just couldn't afford it. Also still in blister is this metal mortar I got. This one will be a fun artillery piece to add to my army. Speaking of artillery, I also got this Dogs of War Bronzino's Galloper gun. This one's really cool, and I'm excited to finally assemble and paint this model. And my favorite most fitting kit I have is the sealed box of Pizarro's Lost Legion. I don't think I could make an Estallion or Conquistor themed army without these guys, of course. This will be a really fun project to work on. This should be more than enough models to make my 2000 point army. I'll definitely be needing a few more models that I don't have yet, like Outriders and stuff like that. I'm waiting for the War Games Atlantic Conquistadors on horseback to come out for those guys. I won't be making a video on each unit I create, but I will create at least one video a month on certain ones and the progress of the army so far. I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe to see the continuation of this army. 
Take care, everyone.